Is it the 2020-21 season or just the 2021 season? Hmm. Well, whatever it is, it's now wrapped up uh, for everybody except for the Flames and the Canucks. They still have a few games left, and I don't think Elias Lindholm is going to get 17 points and make his way onto this list uh, in that time. I think we're pretty safe. I don't think Brock Besser or Johnny Gaudreau are going to go on a big run. Uh, if they do, they definitely deserve for this video to completely change <laughs> and for it to be completely remade. But uh, I think right now we're pretty safe to say that these are going to stay as the top 10 uh, point scorers for the 2021 regular season. The top 10 in points this year. And we all know number one, very, very famously, not too long ago, in 53 games, he hit the 100 point mark, which is unreal. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna count down to him still. We're not gonna talk about him right away. Uh, we're just gonna start with number 10, who is Sid the Man. He has not been a kid for a long time. Sid the Man, Sidney Crosby. 62 points uh, and uh, yeah he had a great season this year and uh, wow the Pens uh, surprisingly throughout their struggles this year have managed to still win games uh, play very very well and Sidney Crosby out there uh, <laughs> leading the team to very great success and uh, accumulating 62 points in the process and uh, yeah, very well done, Sidney Crosby. And uh, number nine, we have Mark Shifley. Picked up a couple points in his last game. And uh, he is at 63 points. Great job for him. Wonderful player. I remember back when I thought Shifley was a top five player in the NHL. I wouldn't probably say that right now. Um, but when they were going far deep into the playoffs I think when they got to the third round I remember just watching Shifley and just how he played both ways just unbelievably and thinking man this is one of the best players in the entire league I was thinking like okay well there's McDavid there's Crosby there's Ovi there's McKinnon but I think Shifley's among them. <laughs> Maybe not quite their level, but I feel like he's fifth. I don't know if I was right in that or not. I probably wasn't, even at that point where he was just playing Unreal. But, uh, yeah, Mark Shifley, great player. Unreal player. Um, not a top five player, maybe, but... Uh, still one of the best players in the league, I think. And uh, I think the best player for the Jets... Uh, certainly, uh, although Wheeler definitely, and maybe even, you might even be able to say Con Connor. And if you're just, you're not talking about just skaters, you probably could also say Connor Hellebuck. And actually, maybe we would say Connor Hellebuck. Uh, he's been very, very good for this team. But uh, ninth in the league for points, top on the Jets for points is Mark Shifley, 63, and uh, still an amazing, amazing player. Uh, good job to Mark Shifley on this unreal season that's going to continue in the playoffs. Hopefully he goes far. Uh, I, I would love to see the Jets go far. I would love to see the Jets uh, be Canada's representative in the Final Four. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. I think the Jets recently haven't been, haven't been too good, although... I will say, their last game, they played pretty well, and uh, I know I maybe, I maybe underestimate, I maybe underestimated them, and uh, yeah, I maybe, maybe was wrong in picking them to be swept by the Oilers, <laughs> but you know what? I don't want that to happen anyway. I want them to beat the Oilers. I want them to go far. I, uh, I think the last game kind of built my faith in them a little bit more, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anything can happen. It's the playoffs, and it's not the NBA. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, at number eight, we have Nathan McKinnon himself. He missed a few games, but still managed 65 points and uh, unreal player for sure. Um, you always expect him nowadays in the top 10 here for sure in points. And... Uh, still there even though he missed how many is that 48 games so he would have missed 
He would have missed eight games. I'm not a I'm not a very big mathlete, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I can. I got that. I got that equation. <laughs> so, anyway, even there, missing eight games, 65 points. Great job for Nathan McKinnon. Uh, so yeah, good on him. At number seven, we have. Patrick Kane, and actually this is a three-way tie at 66 points, but um, I went by, if if they had the same amount of points, I just went by goals. Patrick Kane only had 15 goals, but uh, dishing them out with uh, 51 assists there, uh, pretty good season still. He's still one of the top, uh, top point scorers in the league, so good job for Patrick Kane there, and uh, his season is over, um, but still put up some good numbers there uh, number six we have Nathan McKinnon's Colorado teammate Miko Rantanen who got two points in his last game and uh, managed to get up to sixth place and uh, 30 goal season unreal season for him great job and uh, he and his teammates are the favorites what I've been seeing they are the favorites to win the Stanley Cup. They are the President's Trophy winners, and uh, we'll see if they can <laughs> knock that, um, I don't want to call it a curse, because, you know, Chicago, you know, they uh, they went and won with the President's Trophy. Uh, they went and won the Cup as President's Trophy winners as well. It's not a curse, it's just, it doesn't happen all the time, and maybe, I don't know, I don't know if there's more pressure when you win this President's Trophy, maybe in some cases, uh, in most cases, I'm I'm not I don't think so. But hey, they do good. They might win the cup, and with Miko Rantanen and Nathan McKinnon among others, they have a very good chance to do so. And we'll see what happens there. Number five, also with 66 points, we have Austin Matthews, 41 goals, unreal. Uh, had an amazing season, 41 goals, uh, 52 games, and uh, yeah, he didn't even he didn't even play all 56, and he still, whew, he did amazing. <laughs> he did so good this year, and uh, props to him for sure. 66, 66 points, 41 goals are are the are the standout stat. That's the standout stat, and uh, yeah, great job. And his teammate here at number four is Mitch Marner. Not quite as many goals. Still an awesome 20-goal season. Uh, but dishing him out, 47 assists for 67 points. So those two have had a great season. And uh, we'll see how they do. We'll see how they do in the playoffs. People are leaning towards them for um, being Canada's repre representative in the Final Four. And, um, you know, if that happens, I, I would not be surprised. Do I want it to happen? Nope. <laughs> but uh, I would I would not be surprised if it happened. And if it does, good on them. They, they deserve it. Uh, so, number three, we have maybe my least favorite player in the league. <laughs> As a Canucks fan, I'm, I'm very much not a fan of him. And I know it seems like all fan bases, apart from his own, are... <laughs> are not big fans of him, but especially as a Canucks fan, I just, yeah, I'm not a fan of Brad Marchant, but I cannot deny that he is a unreal player. He is doing very well. He's been doing well these last number of seasons. He's been tops in, in the league for points. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 69 points, 29 goals, 40 assists. Yeah, good stuff from him. Uh, Am I happy to see it? Maybe not, but uh, can't argue with the the results. He is a great player, and uh, yep, number three on the list. Number three this year in points. At number two, and uh, <laughs> no surprise to anybody, Leon Dreisaitl makes it at number two. 84 points, 31 goals, 53 assists. Good on him, and uh, him and McDavid. <laughs> um, just lighten it up in Edmonton for points. Edmonton just high scoring offensive team and with dry sidle and of course yeah number one McDavid 105 points. They are unreal. They score and score and score and uh, 
Yep. <laughs> there you go. There's your top 10. We all knew McDavid was at the top, but uh, I don't know if you knew everyone else. You might have, because uh, you might have been looking at the lists here and, and seeing how people finished right away. But uh, yeah, good stuff from some great players. And uh, for everybody except for Patrick Kane, they have a chance to win the Stanley Cup. And uh, we'll see how that goes for each one of these guys. And we'll see if it's any of them. It might not be, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's the list.